So those of you that have taken interest in my bus driving career of what it will be might find this uh, entertaining at least. Uh, I don't know that I've made a video or mentioned it, but I actually, in my brief tenure of all of a month, was promoted to a role as the lead bus driver and trainer. What that basically means is I'm still I'm still very much a route driver. I still drive field trips, you know, whatever is needed. Um, but I am responsible for training any new drivers that come in. I'm responsible for um, making sure that older drivers that we have are updated on, you know, new changing laws and rules and regulations, stuff like that. Uh, and in this particular instance, I'm actually charged with writing a training program. So the district that I drive for it is odd as it is does does not have any formal training program at all it's just like hey this guy's been driving with us for a long time he'll show you the ropes and that's how they trained me you know, lucky for them i guess i'm a quick study i picked up on it pretty well the only thing that i was formally trained on um was how to parallel park <laughs> that was the only thing uh that i had a trainer show me that i didn't you know learn and study for myself um and I mean, yeah, I had to have a trainer that had to come out with, they, they drove with me through town, oh, once or twice, just to, to practice rail crossings um, and um, like a, a pickup, you know, but it was not day after day of training, hours of training. So, um, you know, they acknowledged that they needed a formal training program because they have, they're, they're actively asking for drivers looking for drivers the district is short on drivers and it's like well look there, there's clearly there's not a surplus of trained ready drivers so a lot of our drivers that we're going to get are probably going to be new people that need training so they created this position um, for lead driver and trainer the guy that they gave it to unfortunately <laughs> well that's personal it's a long story but no sooner than they awarded him the position it's the guy that trained me no sooner than they awarded him the position he um, had to resign effectively uh, for personal reasons and so then they had this open position and they asked me to take it they asked me to take it not because of my experience as a driver necessarily because you know I don't have years and years of experience but what I do have is the technical skills um, to be able and I am I'm a good at teaching I enjoy teaching but I have the technical skills too to write this training program that they need and and sort of create the program create the documentation so anyway I'm making this video video mostly today because I'm sitting up here at the uh, DOT training or DOT testing facility so uh, my first student if you will uh, she's a very interesting lady I've had a lot of fun training her but what's interesting about her is she is a career bus driver she used to drive a school bus several several years ago maybe decades ago i'm not sure um but it was a long time ago used to drive a bus for our same district and then she you know quit left went somewhere else who knows and then she was driving a prison bus for uh department of corrections now still driving a bus so she very much knows how to drive a bus but school buses fall into such a different category it is so much more difficult there's so much more criteria involved in getting your license so even though she has a class a cdl and has all of this experience to drive a bus she had no endorsements for school bus so she had to go back and take a written test which of course was just for school bus um, but she has to go through all the same training pre-trip driving tests all of that for a school bus as if she's a brand new green driver she's having to do all the same stuff i did even though she already has a class a cdl and has all that experience um, so it's been a lot of fun training her and what's interesting is you know she's kind of a tough nut to crack at first because she very much wanted to take that sort of cavalier attitude of i got this i've been driving buses for years you know i got this and i said you i said you can't take that approach you have to just 
let me show you, let me teach you, you know, because it's very much different than even when she was, even when she was driving a bus back then, the rules have changed significantly since, since she drove back then. Um, as far as all the pre-trip requirements back when she was driving school bus before, she was not required to do a pre-trip and all of that to get her license. So again, yeah, very, very different now, but she's accepted, she's taken it very well. Um, I've definitely noticed the progression when we first started, she was totally clueless. I mean, couldn't tell you anything about the bus. She knew enough to do her walk down the aisle and check that the seats were bolted down. That's something that she had to do when she was driving a prison bus, basically. But that was that was about it. Um, so I've had to go through and, like I said, retrain her from scratch, essentially, like she's like she's never driven a bus in her life. So anyway, we are up here to the, like I said, to the DOT testing facility today. We went through her pre-trip and her driving test, her brake test, everything one more time this morning before we came up here. Personally, I graded her 75% on the pre-trip, which is a pass. Um, and I graded her 95% on the air brakes. And the only thing I dinged her on on the air brakes was because she, she had her key off at the start of the test and not in the run position. Um, now, anything on the brake test at all that you fail is an immediate fail for the whole test. But what you're allowed to do is if you're going through your air brake test and you catch that you made an error, you can stop and tell the instructor that you believe you made an error and you wish to restart. You have to restart from the beginning. But if you catch it and you alert them and you do it you know, on your own, then you're okay. But if you go all the way through and then at the end you go, oh shoot, I messed up that one spot. If you've already told them that you're done, then there's no going back. Um, and they do kind of the same rule, you know, parallel parking, stuff like that. You get, you get several, you know, you get three pull-ups or whatever. Um, but you can't just tell them, oh, I messed that up. I should have done it this way. You have to demonstrate to them and you have to go back and do it from the beginning. So anyway, yeah, I'm just kind of chatting, killing time here, which I've got like another two hours to kill. So for this testing, when they come to take the actual test, I can't be on the bus at all. So she's there there's the bus um so she's over there with the with the dot officer now um they're going over paperwork and they're starting a pre-trip i believe i hope because there was another gentleman that i tested with that he was here first and he was really good and then i'm not sure now he's i hope she gets him because he was really good and the other officer that she's talking to right now is the one that everyone's like oh don't get that lady she's horrible so i'm hoping my lady gets the guy that i got um, and I think she'll do okay. But anyway, it's getting loud because there's an 18-wheeler pulling in. I'm going to cut this off. Just letting you guys know what I'm doing.